friends, welcome back to this new channel. I'm Natalie. So lately during this lockdown, I've been doing a lot of painting. And I've been looking down while I do it. And that's not good for my back, not good for my neck. And the last thing that I want to do is wake up with a sore neck or back. I decided to make a DIY easel. So let me show you how it's done. So what you will need to make this easel is four pieces of wood, two bolts and four screws, a pencil, a leveler, a ruler, a drill, and then some sort of saw or cutting material. Some safety precautions before you start is to make sure that if you are under 18 to have adult supervision. These tools can be very harmful and dangerous. Another safety precaution is to tie your hair back. Make sure you have a hair tie or a clip or something. And Sloan, my little sister Sloan can tell you that too. Another safety precaution is to make sure that you're protecting your eyes. Right, Sloan? Mm -hmm. It's to protect your eyes. So have some sort of shield or glasses to protect them. And then the last safety precaution is always remember to be as careful and as safe as possible. So before you begin, make sure you tie your hair back if you have long hair. First step is to cut your pieces of wood. So as you can see up here, there are two pieces of wood that are cut at an angle and you need to cut that so then it fits onto the middle piece. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you will take two pieces and you're gonna take this side piece and put it behind. Make sure this first one is straight and you will put it at an angle. And once you get the angle that you like, you will mark it and that's where you will saw. Okay, so the next thing that you will do, as you can see, I've changed spaces. You will now saw the wood that you just lined up and marked. Now for this part, make sure you have your glasses or your safety gear and have parent supervision. I don't want any of you guys to get hurt. I don't want anyone around you to get hurt. And so just make sure that you're being as safe as possible. I repeat, have parent supervision while doing this. Even have a parent do this for you. This is incredibly dangerous and I don't want anything bad to happen to you, friends. Okay, so now that you've cut your wood, it should have a slant like this. So the next thing to do is grab another piece of wood and I'm doing this sideways, but you do it up and down. Just going to take your pencil and mark right down here. Okay, so now you are going to go back to your saw and you will go ahead and cut it. And make sure parent supervision for this. So the next thing that you're going to need to do is drill a hole in all of your pieces of wood. So for example, on this one, you're going to need to drill a hole right here in the middle. And let me show you why you need to do that on the original. So as you can see up here, there is a screw through these pieces and we had to drill a hole to fit the screw through. And you will need to do that this way so then this middle piece can go in and out. So you can kind of adjust how high you want your easel to be. Okay, so as you can see, I put all of these pieces of wood together. And so what you're gonna do now is mark the thickest spot where you are gonna drill if that makes sense. So basically what you're gonna do is find the thickest spot on this, on these side pieces, and you're gonna want to mark, like let's say the thickest spot was here, and then you're gonna wanna mark right here so then you put the hole in the right spot. So I now have moved to a suitable area where I can drill my pieces of wood. So as you can see here, this is where we decided to mark it, and this is where we are going to drill. And so to get ready, make sure you have your glasses and all of your safety gear 
and um, you will need something to prop the pieces of wood up. And so I just have some of these laying around. Um, you can use anything to prop it up. Um, and make sure you have parent supervision for this task. And make sure that you put the blocks of wood on both sides. Now we are ready to drill. So this is the drill that I'll be using. And I have this drill bit. And make sure that the drill bit is the same width as your screws that you'll be using. And so what you're going to do is line this up. Make sure everyone has parent supervision for this. So now that you have drilled a hole into this piece of wood, you're going to flip it on its side and grab your other two pieces. And so what you're going to need to do is one piece at a time, but you will line it up like this to the part where you wanted to drill it at, like that. And then you will go to the side and drill through this one too to make sure that it's even. Okay, so as you can see, there is now a hole in this one. And so the next thing that you're gonna do is just do that to the other side. Okay, so now I have a screw and a bolt, and what you're gonna do is just simply put the screw through, here, let me go to the other side, all of them. And so if you just do one like this, just put it through like this, but you can do it however you think is best. I'm just gonna screw this through, and after I will put this bolt on, Okay, so once you have put the screw and the bolt through, it's now starting to look more like an easel. And this part should be swinging open and closed. So as you can see, there's something on this that is not on here. And so the next thing that you're going to need to do is figure out how long you want this bottom piece to be. And so here I have a piece of wood. I have just another piece of wood and I'm going to measure, and you do want some hanging off of the sides. So I'm gonna measure how up or down you want it. I think I want mine right here. And then I'm going to mark how long I will want it. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Mine will not be perfect, but there. I've now marked it and this is Right here, this is how long I want to have it. Okay, so you guys probably remember this area. Um, I'm back over by my saw and make sure that you have your glasses and make sure that you're not having loose clothing. But you are now going to saw where you marked your wood. And by the way, this will be the last time that you need to saw anything. So the next step is to drill these holes so then the screws can fit through them. And so I've already marked where I want mine to be. But what you're going to do is find how high up or far down that you want it. And so I've already marked it. This is probably not on point. But you're just going to go like this and you're going to mark in the middle of where you want to drill. So the next part is to drill two holes in to your piece of wood. This is probably the most um, hard part of this easel, but make sure you're going straight down. And so you're just gonna wanna line it up, press down, and then it's off. Okay, so I have drilled a hole and now you're gonna drill on the other side. Okay, so the next
next step is to see where you need to drill on these two pieces and make sure that it's level. And so what you're going to do is take the piece that you have just drilled two holes in and you're going to line it up where you wanted it. And then you're going to take your leveler and it was right there. And then make sure it's level. This is the part where you might need some help. And so I have a helper here. And um, can you just hold this just like that, level? So we're just going to make sure that it's nice and leveled. And then once it is leveled, I'm going to take a pencil. This one, I don't know how well you can see it, but this one um, has been cut right here so then it fits in the holes that we've um, drilled. Then you're just going to really make sure that um, it's super, super straight and level. Does that look good? And you're just going to stick your pencil through the hole and just kind of squiggle it around and try and make a mark. And that is where you're going to drill nail. You're just do it on both sides. Make sure it's really scratched and scribbled in there. And so we've made these marks and then the next step is to drill two holes. Okay, so I've now moved to a suitable area where, where I can drill, and I'm using the same drill and the same drill bit as before. And um, now what you're gonna do is um, make sure you have all of your safety gear and you're not gonna drill on these two marks. And um, I actually have a helper doing this because this might be the hardest thing to do so make sure if you're really good with um, drilling you can do it but if you're not that great then have somebody else that is do it. The very last step for putting together this DIY easel is to connect this piece to this piece with two screws. And so I have the piece that is going to go here and I've drilled two holes in these two pieces. So now you're going to take two screws and put one through this one, like that. And you shouldn't need a bolt depending on how thick your um, wood is. I didn't, but if you need to use it, that's totally okay. And it's totally up to so you. I just put it on this piece and it is finally done. It looks so amazing and I bet yours does too. So get whatever you like to paint on and go ahead and start painting away. I hope you enjoyed this and that you had a fun time making it with me. Have fun painting!